Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be doing a try on and a wear test of this product from Jouer. This is the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. So if you would like to become a member of our Glowing Gluten Free group, please go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and also feel free to leave me any comments down in the section below, but also please go ahead and ring the bell. That way you will be notified of every time I upload a brand new video onto my channel. So let's talk a little bit about this powder. So Jouer is a clean brand. So that means that this is formulated without any talc or any of kind of the nasty things that you can find in makeup. Um, the packaging is just beautiful on any of the Jouer products. And this guy, you can open it up and it has a beautiful pattern to it. This is the color Fair because Lord knows I'm as about as spicy as they come. And this is six grams or 0.21 ounces and it is $31, which is a little bit up there in price, but Jouer is a higher end brand. And this also has skin loving ingredients in it like allantoin, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid. Now this is a gluten-free product. This is also cruelty-free. It's also paraben-free. So this is a powder that I want to add into my collection because I really prefer a clean product and I love that it is hydrating as well as a setting powder. So the claims are that this is going to be hydrating to your skin, it's going to be nourishing and softening to your skin, and it's supposed to leave kind of an airbrushed look to your skin. It's a demi matte, so it's not going to be super, super matte, but it's also not going to be like a dewy finish. So I am going to go ahead and put some makeup on. I'm just going to start with my foundation and concealer, and then I'll come back and show you when I'm putting the powder on, tell you my thoughts about it and see how it applies. And I'll also do a wear test so you guys can see how it's wearing <laughs> throughout the day. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get into this powder. I'm going to try applying it underneath my under eyes with two different tools today. I'm going to try the dry end of my um, Camo Concealer sponge from e.l.f. And then I'm going to go in with the brush that I also got in that pack. And this is the Blending Perfector brush from e.l.f. So I'm going to go under one side of my eye, kind of press first. and then kind of buff and blend out that powder. And I always set my eyelid so that it's easier for any kind of eyeshadow application. I wanna see how this powder varies underneath my eye as far as if it settles, if it creases or anything like that. I wanna see the difference with the two different application types. So I went ahead and set underneath my eye. It seems to be covering well and I like that it still has a little bit of color to it to just further brighten and correct under my under eye. So I'm just kind of rubbing a little bit into the product and then just kind of doing that light pressing motion underneath my eye just like I did with the concealer. So now I'm going to take my Real Techniques powder brush, which is a big fluffy guy here, and I'm just going to stamp into this product and set the entire face. Now setting my entire face with powder is something that I have not done in a very long time. So this is really going to show how hydrating this powder is, especially since it is very cold outside. It's just after Christmas. We will see if this dries my skin out at all, or if it really truly is hydrating like it claims to be. It looks pretty on the skin. It doesn't look super powdery. And I do like, again, that it has a little bit 
of color to it. So now I'm gonna scoot in a little bit just so that you all can see the texture that this is on my face. It looks very blurring, I would say. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I can still feel the slight tackiness from my foundation, which means that it doesn't feel super dry on my skin, which I like so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup here, and we will continue to see how this wears. Alright, so that completes my makeup look for the day. So far, I am really happy with how this powder looks on my skin. It doesn't look powdery at all. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel drying to my skin, even underneath my eyes where I tend to powder a little bit more heavily just to make sure that my concealer is set and to add some brightness underneath my eyes. It doesn't feel dry and it doesn't look cakey so far so good. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on the rest of my day and I will do at least one if not two check-ins and we will see if this powder lives up to the hype. Alright guys, so here is my first check-in. I have had this makeup on my face for probably about close to six hours, five and a half, six hours. And so everything is still looking and feeling really good. Nothing is really settling into my line. Sorry, I've got this. That's from my nap that I just took. And let me show you up close underneath my eyes. If you can kind of see, it's gathered a tiny bit right here, but that is normal with the concealer that I wear. So I'm not, I'm wondering if that's not from the concealer and not the powder. As far as the application goes between the brush and the sponge, I would say it's a toss up. I don't think either one is better or worse than the other. I think honestly, they look about the same. So if you have a preference of choice, just do whatever you usually do or whatever you would like to do. And my face doesn't feel all dry. I don't feel like I have powder all over my face today. And also a note, as I was applying the rest of my makeup over top of the powder, blending in my bronzer and my highlighter was super easy. It blended really easily, really seamlessly, and I actually really enjoyed just the feeling of having mostly powder products on my face today. I will go ahead and sign off for right now, and I will do another check-in in just a little while. All right guys, so this is my last check-in for the night. I have been wearing this powder for about eight and a half hours now. I'm really happy with how my skin looks at the end of the day. 
Um, my skin looks a little bit more glowy now just because it's the end of May and it's not fresh makeup, but I am really happy with how everything looks. I am personally a fan of more of a glowy skin look anyway, so I am not upset with how much glow that this powder has let through throughout the day and I think it still looks really nice. It kept my makeup in place nicely all day. I think underneath my eyes are still just kind of as bunchy as they were before as far as like gathering a tiny bit right there with my concealer. But again, I think that's more of the concealer and not the powder. So I am gonna go ahead and get my skincare started for the night and get this makeup off of my face. Thank you for joining me for this wear test, and I hope you have a great rest of your day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Thank you all for spending this time with me, and I will see you all again soon.